What is happening, y'all? Welcome back. So I gotta shoot this way. Find some more baddies to take down with my super speedy ninja moves. Actually, do I go up top, maybe? I need to I need to take some time and read up on Raiden and what happened. Cause I mean I remember I played the uh, the old Metal Gear game back in the day. Uh, which was it? Was it two? Was two the one where like you no, it was three I think. I just remember I played the one where you like you, you play a little bit of Snake and then you play a little bit as Raiden. Um, I don't know when Raiden got put into a giant samurai outfit. Uh, Oh, there we go. Very few games allow you to just break your way through objects. Oh, come on, another one of you? Oh, it's the same one? What? How am I supposed to stop this? He just tried to eat me. There's gotta be a way to like deflect the beam or something. I mean the beam is very telling in its direction. Maybe I need to parry the beam. Not do much there. That did not work. Use blade mode to take down those heavy missiles. Oh shit, I just died to the base of guns. Damn, dude. Jump? Do I need to fall back down? Alright, I need to... Mm. 
you can't jump over it. And you can't parry it. What am I supposed to do against this fucking laser? That's the gimmick as I kill these things to get hit the, the heals. And then I need to use my blade mode last and just focus more on my basic combos to get damage in. Run across the missiles? Jesus. Exploding it. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Combat rank still D. I'm not my combat rank's pretty bad.
heading for the front of the train. After him. Raiden, an unidentified field roader is headed your way. Keep an eye out for it. Prime Minister! Sealed here any longer. Stop! Oh. What about all the good things war has done for us? Why don't we ever hear speeches about that? Jobs, technology, oh. a common purpose? Uh. Right in. Forget me. Stop him. <clears throat> you ain't listening. Mind if I got in? All we're saying... Give war a chance! Slash my ass. <laughs> it's like a gun powered loaded quick draw.
This is what happens when you bring a tool to a sword fight. It's over. <laughs> Lucky devil. <laughs> Why wouldn't they shoot at the helicopter? Wouldn't that make more sense? There we go. Down you go! Flares! Chapter result, hard, combat rank B. I mean, I, I don't, maybe I wasn't supposed to get an actual combat rank here. It's just the time, really. File R status closed. I haven't seen a, that notification in a long time. safely to Varich. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, Raikul? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes. And two, absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy cyborgs should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me? Is a combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. Three mic out closing. No activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick brief. I know you miss me, Kev, but I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government, or what's left of it anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta has been established. The terrorists brainjacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Andrei Dolsev, 
leader of the occupation forces, an extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier, none other than Desperado Enforcement, LLC. Humani's oh. killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is Jetstream Sand. I believe you've met. <sighs> the only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country. But keep an eye out, Justin. No. Uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. It's launching my ass like a missile. I'm noticing like slight little sound glitches. I think it's, uh, I think it's just the audio like not scaling properly up to uh, 60 FPS or whatever the case is. You landed safely, da? First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your solid gun radar. Contact us on Codec if you have questions. Well, we're gonna wrap things up here. Um, so I was looking, I pulled up some info on them because I didn't know exactly uh, what happened. So Sons of Liberty is the one I remember. And apparently after Sons of Liberty, I don't know, there's a whole, there's a giant wiki entry on them, but it's, it's massive. I'm trying to figure out, like, when all the cyborg stuff really happened. Because from what I'm seeing, he was a childhood soldier. I walked alongside the Paradise Lost Army in their anti-patriot activities, but was captured and forced to undergo heavy cybernetic experimentation. After escaping, he went on to assist Solid Snake during the Guns of the Patriots incident. The Guns of the Patriots incident was... I don't know which game that was. So there's so much, like, lore and Metal Gear that I am just completely unaware of. All I know is that my dude got sad cyborg body appears to combat desperado cyborgs original cyborg body yeah, cause I remember him back in like Metal Gear 2 where he was just a normal dude and then sometime between that and now my guy became crazy strong um, anyway, I need to actually go back and listen to these episodes just to check on the volume. But we are going to wrap up here. We'll have more of this coming your way. Like I said, probably one episode a day. Um, I think I'm starting to click with the combat a little bit more. But either way, stay tuned, and I will catch you all soon enough with some more.